everybody fucking loves swell so i decided to buckle down and see what the hype is about and in this series i'm going to learn swell i'm just going to build a lot of different projects but not just learning projects what i want to build is again things that actually help me in my daily life and the very first project that i'm going to build today is supposed to give me real monetary value because i have this course on udemy right now and Udemy is a bit of a weird platform in the sense that there's certain days where you're going to make a lot of sales and other days where you're going to make none. And the days where you're not going to make sales are the ones where your course is priced at its usual price, which is incredibly high, which means that those days I never make any sales. So what I want to build today is just a very simple website that actually just has vouchers for my course updated all the time. Now, because the website is pretty basic, right, I'm not just going to use Svelte for the first time, I'm also going to use Tailwind and Sanity for the first time. Tailwind for the styling. With Sanity, it's like a headless CMS, right? I can put my content in there, I can put the vouchers in there all the time, and then um, the website will automatically grab the new data from there. But the first thing that I had to do was actually understand Svelte a little bit better. And for that, I got myself a really good Udemy course, and then I got very bored very fast and again it was not because of the udemy course but more because of the voice in my own head telling me like hey you've been coding for years you should be able to pick this up just learning just looking through the docs and building things and that's exactly what i'm going to do right i'm going to build a very simple static html css website feed in the data through sanity and that's it Okay, so I went for the very much simplest website that I could think of and I finished it. What I'm going to do now, because I'm actually interested in like building more of the functionality and stuff of this, is I'll, you know, set up the backend, which in my case will just be a headless CMS, right? I'm going to use Sanity and I'm going to say like, okay, I want to be able to sign up with emails here. I want to have that somewhere stored the same way here. I want to have a place where I can actually fetch you know, the, the promotion or the vouchers from. I also want to have a place that I can fetch the projects from. And so all of that goes into Sanity. And then when I have all that data, render the components repeatedly or iteratively on the front end. So I'm trying to do right now, I originally thought would be quite easy. Um, what I have is now this subscribe to our newsletter element and I've done this before with Strapi, so another headless CMS and what I want to do is I want to have the ability for people to write into my database but obviously without being able to read from it and with Sanity it's actually a little bit more complicated. A little bit more complicated was a serious understatement because it absolutely drove me crazy at that time. And I even started looking at other CMS solutions to move the whole project away from Sanity at that point. I, <laughs> and then, fuck me, Directors is $99 a month. I don't know what, what's the point of that? Isn't it also like Julia or something? Julia CMS? No, no, that is not a CMS. Fuck it, I'll send it to Firebase. I'll send it to Firebase. So originally I was really reluctant to use another service like Firebase, but on the plus side, I already know Firebase. So the setup took me like 10, 15 minutes and it meant that I could finally write some real Svelte code by doing the sign up form on the front end. Okay, I fucking love this. Ah, oh, this is... This is exactly why I always say like you should build projects because obviously when I go through the course, like I understand everything but this is the only way I truly learn. But that's really nice.
That's pretty nice. That works. And that also means I didn't have to redo my whole CMS. I'm using Sanity now, even though I'm not a huge fan. Gotta admit. Um, but the page is pretty much done. I mean, I need to do like the imprint and the data privacy pages and stuff. And I do still have to do some styling things. But I'll stop it now. Um, and I'll just finish finish this tomorrow. Wow. That looks like it's there. <clears throat> I don't know what happened with my voice, but awesome. Okay, now I'm also just going to very quickly check. Let's say this is this is the hosted one. And now I'm saying uh, from website at gmail.com. Successfully signed up. Boom. Okay, nice. So everything works. I'm now basically done with the website. Like this all works. Uh, everything that I wanted is on there, but I do want to get some Google Analytics on it. In order for me to do that, I have to install Google Analytics, which sometimes is annoying. I'm not sure. I haven't done it with Svelte Kit now. But the more annoying thing is that I, that also means I have to, you know, make sure that you accept cookies and all of that. The website is done. <laughs> But I'm assuming I will spend a few more hours on on this, unless there's a very easy solution. I mean, I don't need much, but just from experience, this is often really annoying. So not sure how long that will take. So the thing is, I just installed Google Analytics, I guess, um, but I can obviously just take it out again. And I can get around the whole cookies thing, apparently, with web, <laughs> with web analytics through Vercel. Uh, I want to make this as easy as possible, so I think I'm going to try it out. That would be really fucking cool, because who, want, who the fuck wants to have a cookie model on their, on their website? Did I deploy that? I, I should have. Let's visit my site. Oh, nice. There we go. Okay, so I can see how many people are seeing it. I see from which country, what operating system. Um, I'm not sure how long this project took me now, but I didn't do that much. And I mean, the website is super simple, but it's the first Swell Kit site. I'm happy with it. And I'll show you, I'll show you the results in a few days. Now, obviously the most important question is, did it work? And the short answer is no, it did not work. Um, the longer answer is <laughs> that not only did this not work, my whole course is basically failing. Failing in the sense that it used to be a lot more successful, right? Like um, I launched in November, in November made $617, then 284, and now in January we're at 244. But the good news is that I did actually end up making two sales through the new website right so some people buy through it and it's actually the coolest thing ever because you see here that somebody used the Kiesel learning voucher which is the one that is on the Kiesel learning website and they spent nine dollars 79 and from that i got seven dollars 70 which is a lot more than i would usually get and similarly here somebody actually bought it from the uk for 13 pounds 99 and I received $13.85, right? The whole website had like 44 visitors, so you see that it's not a lot, but at least some people click on it, right? And you can see that it's from different places as well. I have a Twitter account, YouTube, um, and even from Google, although Google, I think, was mostly me, because the problem is that when you look at Kiso Learning, for example, my website is actually not anywhere there. I think it comes quite late. That's my agency website, for example. So that has not worked. So the problem is more that right now, I just don't have that many people coming to my website. So here we go, you see the landing page visitors, um, which at the moment I get about 30 people that actually visit, visit the website. 
And then the conversion rate is very strongly still correlated with does Udemy have a sale or do they not? But I used to have at times like 200 visitors per day um, in November during Black Friday, which I just don't have right now. But still, this website is costing me zero euros. And I did end up making like $20 off that, like two sales that I probably wouldn't have made otherwise because the course was $120 on Udemy. But for now, this was a cool first project, an easy project. It did take me like three or four hours. Overall, I would rate it at least as a success.